First off, let's take a really quick look at the box itself. There's not much to look at except for on the back. They have provided an excellent diagram where you might want to locate your Wi-Fi range extender within your house or building. Definitely take a close look at this. Okay, that's enough at looking at the outside. Let me go ahead and grab my pocket knife and open up this box so that we can take a close-up look at the extender itself. To begin with, there's a quick start manual in here and it gives excellent diagrams and information. I'll put that aside for now and let's take a really close-up look at the extender. Um, on the left side, we have the factory reset on and off button, WPS, an access point or extender button, and also a lot of air vents because this baby does get hot. And then on the bottom, we have model number. serial number and WPS numbers also lots of air vents and an AC plug as well and talking about air vents they're all over this device as you can see here also on the bottom we have an Ethernet port and you can connect any wireless device that you have uh, directly to the extender via an Ethernet cable Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the unit here very quickly. We have a couple of LED lights that are going to be very useful in the setup here. Um, on the left side, we have a couple of router signal lights. And then on the right side, we have a couple of client signal lights. And then um, on the left side down below here, we have a power and WPS LED light. All right, um, let's go ahead and set this up. By locating a open AC wall outlet within the same room where your router is located. And once you plug it in, the power light will go from amper to a solid green within about 90 seconds or so. Lights, um, solid green, and the router link LED lights and the extender connects to your existing Wi-Fi network. Firefox happens to be the one I'm going to open up and it opens up my home page which happens to be Google. All right, I'm connected to the internet via the extender at this point so I'm going to go ahead and close this out and pop over to the Wi-Fi range extender one last time and as you can see all the lights are solid green which indicates that it is connected to the Wi-Fi router and also to my computer as well. Okay, that's the end of this video.